Okay, so now we're going to um, try out a couple of examples about roots of quadratic equations. We know there's three types. There's two answers uh, that cross the x-axis when you have two real and different roots, and that's when b squared minus 4ac is bigger than zero. Uh, when it touches only one time, we've only got one real repeated root, and we say that's b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero. And if there's, uh, it never touches the x-axis because there are no real roots, then b squared minus 4ac is less than zero. So first of all, I've given you an equation it's set to y. We set it to zero because we're looking for the x-intercepts. And at the x-intercepts, y is always zero. So first of all, write down what you think a, b, and c is. Stop the video, do that, then press play to see what happens. So let's check that you can actually do that first part. And you should have said that um, a was 1, b is minus 7, c is 6. Easy enough. And then, as we said last time, we're going to test it, and the formula we're going to use to test it is part of the, the quadratic equation, and it's the part underneath the um, square root. So we do b squared minus 4ac. b is minus 7, so we're going to take minus 7 and square it. Then we're going to minus, then we're going to times by 4, then we're going to times by the a, then we're going to times by the 6. And then it's just a question of doing your number work. So this, of course, is 49. This, of course, is minus 24. You read that, you do what it says, you get 25. Now we're comparing this to b squared minus 4ac. And what you notice, this is 25. So this means that b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0. And if b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, what does that mean? Absolutely. That you have got... Um, so b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0. Let's write it as a sentence means that you have two real and different roots. And that's all you need to know. So now you know that if you drew a graph, it's going to cut the x-axis twice. And the two numbers it cuts out are different. This one here, see if you can do this one without me. So stop the video, try and do the second one without me. When you're ready, press go, and then check your solution. Okay, so on this one, you should have said a was 1, b was minus 1, c is 4. You're going to test. You have to show me what you're testing. Then it's easy to substitute in. So b squared is going to be that squared minus the 4 minus the a times this. C is not times in. Sorry. Not minus. Minus in the product of all three. So then you've got 1. Then you've got minus 16. And you're going to get minus 15. So b squared minus 4ac is equal to 15. That means that b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. And what does that mean? Well, if b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, then you've got what? Then there's no solution or no real roots. And in terms of a graph, does not touch or intersect the x-axis. The magnets are always in the way. <laughs> x-axis. So it's no, then there's no solution, or there's no real roots to this equation. When this is set to zero, there's no real roots, is what we say. There's no intercepts. It doesn't touch or intersect the x-axis. And that's what happens. And the only version that I haven't done is if it's equal to zero, which would, then you would say it has one real repeated root. It touches the x-axis once. Okay. Um, if it says for real roots, then this has to be greater or equal to zero. That's the only other variation. So write down the notes, and then you're going to try some questions. Thank you.